My name is Olivia Ngou. I'm the executive director of a local NGO called Impact Santé Afrique. It's a women-led organization based in Cameroon in Africa and focusing on malaria. And we focus on malaria because malaria is one of the first cause of hospitalization and death in Cameroon and in many countries in Africa. Um, do you know, Madam Commissioner, that a child under five dies every minute from malaria? And this is not acceptable because it's a disease we can prevent and we can treat. And over, for the last 20 years, the Global Fund has invested um, a lot and, and was created at the beginning to fight against the three deadliest epi epidemics, malaria, tuberculosis, and HIV. And since the beginning, um, we want to thank the European Union because the European Union was very supportive of the Global Fund and has helped to save more than 20 million lives. And to us, it's not just a number. Um, those lives represent our brothers, our sisters, our mothers. So we thank the European Union for that continuous support. But, Madam Commissioner, we are, we are um, afraid because for the first time, we are losing ground in the fight against malaria, tuberculosis, and HIV. And we are losing ground, and if nothing is done, we, we will not be able to get back on track. In 2022, another global moment of solidarity is needed to get back on track so that we don't lose 20 years of gains in the fight against malaria, TB, and HIV. For this year, the Global Fund needs at least 18 billion US dollars. Today, the European Commission long-lasting partnership with the Global Fund is more critical than ever. The EU must step up and do whatever it can to protect life, women, children, and to avoid uh, the next pandemic and to help us get back on track in the fight against malaria, TB, and HIV. So, Madam Commissioner, will the European Union raise up to the challenge and mobilize at least 750 million euros this year? We are counting on your support. Thank you.